to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. The Jets have it now. Into the offensive zone. tempo of the game right at the onset of it. You want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. The Jets will play it in their own end. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. And that's a great heads up play by Fowler. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves it quickly over to McTavish. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Winnipeg's got it against the boards. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Bolardi's got it against the boards. Takes the shot. Oh, to Dyson with the paddle save. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. Quick feed to Ayafalo. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. The Ducks take it along the wall. Shot blocked in traffic. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Nemestikov. And now it's grabbed by Henrique. That opportunity is rejected. And it's a quick pass to Silverberg. Picked off in the open ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he 
takes a shot. Scores! He doubles up the rebound and tucks it home. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Anaheim's got themselves a goal back, and they're right into it once again. Well, it only takes one to reset the light for this team, and you can certainly see it as the bench erupted with that goal. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Went for the dirty dangle to go sideways. Terry's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. Takes the feed at the point. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Across the line, down the left wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. Aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Ducks still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he takes the pass. Quick shot! And it's turned aside by Gibson. Pop ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Henrik's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Tries to feed it over to Henrik. Makes his presence known on the ice. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Velarde. Reaches out and uses the stick. Slides it quickly to Lindstrom. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Slides it across to DeMello. Fires it! Fantastic save! Can't keep a hold of it. Silverberg's got it along the boards. Sends it out front, and that doesn't connect. Quick feed to Nemestikov. Here they are on the attack. Perfetti's got it to the side. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Tries to get it to Lindstrom. Here's a chance to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Slides it diagonally to Dillon. Finds nothing but air on that shot. The Jets take it across the line. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Carrick. Oh, and it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the small area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square right of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Here in the lake, going to the frame. We've got a 2-1 game. The Ducks win the defensive zone faceoff. They score! And what a counter punch they set up! Well, you said a counter punch. You know the coach is going to love this. This quick, timely response. When you look down your bench, you got to know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. The Jets get a hold of the puck off the draw. And now it's grabbed by Chisholm. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Rocks him on the play. Winnipeg's moving it along the wing. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. And with 
set. The first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment? The Jets are ahead in this high-scoring affair, James. I mean, we've seen it over the last few years. More shots, more goals, and I think a real product of the skill development of the players at the lower levels. Off the left wing and into center. But he cuts up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the power. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. My scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Ducks have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They cut the deficit within one. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. On the attack along the boards. Big time stop. The Ducks him again. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Anaheim's trailing by one. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Routine oh. was stopped by Gibson.
Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. He takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Denies that opportunity. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. And now he moves it quickly to Vetrano. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Tries to get it over to Shifley. Feeds the puck across to Ehlers. The score! We'll talk about a friendly ping right there. Yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example when the pass is crisp, and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. The Jets are enjoying things in twos. Here in period number two, they've gone up by two, Cheryl. There's been a lot of twos, James, and they'd love to get another couple goals to really pad the stats and increase their lead. But right now, it's about habits, not giving their opponent any life in this game. And he takes the feed. He's got a step, and he was ready for that save. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give with that. for the frame. Winnipeg's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Perfetti's won the draw and they're on the attack. He got all of that one. Nice zone entry from the left. Here's a chance in front. And that goes off a stick. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. The Ducks needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Slides it on over to Strom. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Receives the pass. Quick feed to Niederreiter. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And a nice save there as play continues. The Ducks continue to trail here late in the second, despite having more chances here tonight. Henrik's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Great save by Hellebuck. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Here in the late goings of the period, Anaheim's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Puck grab by Schmidt. Through center along the wing. Moves it to Lowry. Denied with the glove by Gibson. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Nice zone entry on the left side. Shot! Oh, a clutch save! Here's a shot! Another stop by the goaltender. And that's broken up. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Hellebuck's certainly not afraid to compete. I mean, he has been under siege all game long, and it's almost as if the more shots he gets, the more he thrives in the crease.
The Jets win the draw here in the neutral zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Petrano's lugging the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Sends it over to Terry. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Terry's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. Steps it for the one-timer and makes the save. Puck exits the zone. Grabbed along the boards by Vetrano. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. It has been an offensive fireworks display here tonight, and I would expect it to continue here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Anaheim's had a lot of pace and tempo through the first 40 minutes of play. James, if they can continue that along with their possession time, you got to believe that they can get the equalizer in this one. Here's a shot! by Hillebuck. Morrissey's got it in the defensive end. Now a quick pass to Connor. Loose puck battle along the boards. Angles it over to Gudis. Oh, that was like a car crash. Winnipeg's got it in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Eels. The Jets have gone up by two now here in the third, and boy, do they look good. That's sending a message right to start the third period, isn't it, James? Listen, you're dictating the pace in all different areas of the ice. You come out in the third and you get another one, that's a great way to start third. And now he tries to get it across to Ayafalo. And he takes the dish. Fires it on net. Simple stop by Helleba. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Ducks need to get one back here as they trail early in this third period despite putting a lot of pucks on net. Scoops up the puck off the draw. There's a great glove save by Hillebuck. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Jets now lead by two. And they win the draw on their own end. Scrum along the boards. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Feeds it on over to Pionk. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Quick pass to Kalorn. Shot, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Levels him against the wall. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Morrissey. The Jets are in transition. Here's a chance. Here's a shot. And he comes up with a glove save. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's a two-goal game with a 5-3 score. Winnipeg's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. And now it's over to Dillon. Here's a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Takes the shot. And that goes off a player. 
Moves it quickly over to Perfetti. Sends it in on the attack. Now over to Henrique. And he's ridden off the puck. Quick feed to Henrique. Moves it on over to Labushkin. The Jets take possession here in the open ice. Moves the puck to the attacking area. What a steal in his own end. Winnipeg's top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively and they're a reason they're in the lead. Scores! They stayed with it and buries the rebound. This is what you call having a nose for the net. You take the initial shot and you get back to the front of the net for your own rebound. That's a great tenacious goal. Added yet another one here to the total tonight. I mean, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. And they win that draw at center. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Shot! Gets in front of a one-timer. Hellebuck's got it. And I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Winnipeg's won the defensive zone draw. Picked up along the boards by Schmidt. And he slides it quickly to Connor. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. No room for that one to get through. Along the half wall with the puck. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Picked off. Trying to be too cute on the pass. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Connor. There's another hit. And you get a sense that this was a game plan to go after him tonight here, Cheryl. Well, he certainly has a bullseye or target on his back, James. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Anaheim's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. Puck picked up by Fowler. Chisholm's taking it from his own end. Gets the puck in deep. Puck battle along the boards. And that's a smart heads-up play by Strom. And he can't hang on after that hit. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Gibson. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Kalorn's going to play it against the half wall. Barron's stick handling in his own zone. Puck dumped in. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. And here's the pass to Strom. The Ducks carry it along the wall. The Jets take possession in the defensive end. Puck scooped up by Morrissey. Centering pass. Picked off in front. Anaheim's across the blue line. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Passes it to Morrissey. From the right side, takes the pass. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Anaheim's looking to break out. Here they come up along the wing. The Jets gain possession. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to Niederreich. Performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. 
Here's a short pass to Silverberg. Oh, what a save in front. Hellebuck's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage. And he, and he rings the post. Anaheim's working hard, but nothing's been going right for them in this game. Another chance off the post, and this is deflating for an entire bench who needs something to get them going. The Jets ready to go on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Nemestikov. And he denied him there. Across the line from center. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by DeMello. Quick pass to Morrissey. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. To the low slot. Denies him in close. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Ehlers brings it in from center. Great reach with the poke check. Leo Bushkin's got the puck in his own zone. Oh! And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. This feels over right now. Yeah, it feels over, but it isn't. I mean, there have been comebacks of this nature, James. So, you know that the coaching staff will be preaching, listen, let's continue to do what we've been doing all series long. We've had good habits. We've really owned play. Now it's about really finishing, but we've got to do it now. Well, what a night of hockey, and the intensity will only continue to ramp up with the next playoff game, and we will see you all down here at eSports.